One of the more mysterious parts of our outer solar system is something called the Oort Cloud. It's a region way out beyond Pluto and isn't limited to the plane at which the planets generally orbit the Sun. The shape, density and other properties of this cloud give some insight into the formation of the inner parts of the solar system. The Oort Cloud itself is further subdivided into the inner and outer Oort Cloud and they have different properties and even origins. The inner part of the Oort Cloud occupies the shape of a torus or a thick ring around the outer part of our solar system. Now thick only applies in terms of dimensions of height of the cloud. One thing it certainly doesn't apply to is the density of the cloud as virtually all of this cloud is empty space with only a minuscule amount of matter in that whole vast amount of space. To put it a little bit of scale on the size of the inner Oort cloud is about a hundred times more distance from the Sun than Pluto is and it would take light two weeks just to cross the width of the ring. And in all that space all the mass present is probably a little less than that of Uranus, the smallest of the gas giants. It leaves us with a question, how did all that matter get there? And why is it this particular shape well, when the planets were coalescing together, they formed what's known as a protoplanetary disk, a discus-like body of matter that spiralled around the Sun, with dust particles clumping together to form larger and larger bodies until they formed the planets. As the planets became larger, they started to exert significant more gravitational force on the clumps around them. Some of these were dragged in towards what they might be called protoplanets, and others were kind of catapulted outwards. Now those objects were catapulted outwards to form the inner Oort cloud. That's why astronomers sometimes talk about long period comets and other debris in the inner Oort cloud as being able to tell us about the formation of the early part of our solar system because basically they are still the building blocks which some of our planets were made from. This of course leads us with the outer Oort cloud which rather than being in the shape of a torus, the outer of a Oort cloud is the shape of kind of like a hollow ball extending in all directions from our sun. In fact, it covers most of the distance from our sun to our nearest star, and the particles that make up the outer cloud are so distant they experience virtually no gravitational pull from our sun at all. The particles are scattered even more widely than the inner Oort cloud, and they're significantly less dense, and they may represent kind of the background level of the particular matter that are in our Milky Way. Probably what's left behind when all the stars and planetary systems were created in our local cluster. Since then, too distant from any one star for each to create any kind of significant form or structure. This, however, doesn't make them totally insignificant because their age and the fact that they generally haven't interacted with other bodies that mean that the makeup of the outer Oort cloud gives us a great deal of information on what types of matter were present and what percentages at the time our sun was formed. Now something that due to the reactive processes inside our sun and the other bodies it's impossible to directly measure nowadays from the inner part of our solar system. Now the outer Oort cloud though isn't 100% stable because it's so distant from our sun any large object moving anywhere near the Oort cloud would exert a significant gravitational force on all that matter. And within occasional rogue stars and other bodies will pass through the cloud and stir it up, either sending particles scattering or just occasionally pushing them inwards towards the inner part of our solar system. Because of the huge amount of space that the outer cloud takes up, this only affects a tiny, tiny proportion of the cloud. That's the Oort cloud. Something so different and so scattered, it's unlikely to be measured accurately from our solar system. It's going to be mysterious for many generations still to come.